I am Diana, daughter of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons, born on the sacred island of Themyscira, a paradise hidden from the mortal world. My story is one of strength, love, loss, and the eternal battle for peace. Shaped from the clay of the earth, I was brought to life by the gods, blessed with their gifts. But my life began in the golden sunlight of Themyscira, far from the conflicts of humanity. It was a place of wisdom, beauty, and serenity, where the Amazons trained to protect peace from a world they no longer interacted with. From a young age, I was taught that the world outside was full of strife, chaos, and corruption. My mother, Queen Hippolyta, led our people with grace and strength, and from her, I learned the ways of leadership and diplomacy. She was the fiercest warrior, yet her wisdom ran deeper than any sword under her careful watch. I was trained by General Antiope, the greatest warrior Themyscira had ever known. Every day was spent honing my abilities, archery, swordsmanship, combat, and more. The Amazons knew how to fight, but we fought not to conquer, but to defend. In time, I came to realize that my strength was unlike that of any other Amazon. I was faster, stronger, more resilient, and could tap into powers that none of my sisters possessed. My mother told me that I had been blessed by the gods. The wisdom of Athena, the power of Zeus, the speed of Hermes, and the beauty of Aphrodite. I did not fully understand the gravity of these gifts, but I knew that they marked me for something beyond the peaceful shores of Themyscira. It was when Steve Trevor fell from the sky that I truly began to understand my purpose. His plane crashed into the blue waters surrounding our island, and though we rescued him, his presence brought chaos to our tranquil world. He spoke of a war, a war unlike any Themyscira had ever known. It was a war that consumed the entire planet, one of violence and hatred killing millions. Steve was a soldier fighting for the Allied forces, but he had stumbled into our paradise, pursued by enemies that sought to kill him. When the German soldiers breached our shores, it was the first time in centuries that the Amazons had faced an outside threat. We fought them, driving them away, but it was clear to me then that my life on Themyscira could never be the same. Steve told us about the world beyond our island. The Great War had engulfed nations, pulling men, women, and children into its grasp, leaving devastation in its wake. It was unlike anything I had ever imagined. My mother urged me to stay, to let the world resolve its own issues, but I could not. How could I stay when innocent lives were being lost? I had been raised to fight for justice, and now justice was needed more than ever. Leaving Themyscira was the hardest decision I have ever made. My mother warned me that once I crossed the barrier, I could never return, that the outside world would change me. But I knew in my heart that this was my destiny. The world of men was broken, and it was my duty to help them heal, to show them that love and compassion could prevail over hatred and destruction. As I sailed away from my homeland with Steve, I looked back one last time at the shores of Themyscira, not knowing if I would ever see them again. The world outside was harsher than I had imagined. We arrived in London, a city choking under the weight of war. The streets were crowded with people, many of them struggling, many of them suffering. It was a far cry from the beauty and peace of my home. Yet even in the face of such despair, I saw moments of kindness, of bravery, of resilience. People were fighting to survive, to protect one another, and that gave me hope. As Steve and I journeyed deeper into the heart of the war, I began to see the true horrors of conflict. The fields of battle were littered with the dead and the wounded. Villages were burned, families torn apart. For the first time, I witnessed the cruelty of man, and it shook me to my core. I had believed that humanity was good, that they were simply lost, 
But now I saw that there was a darkness within them, a darkness that Ares, the god of war, sought to exploit. Ares was the true architect of this devastation. He had sown discord among mankind, turning brother against brother, nation against nation. He wanted to prove to the gods that humanity was irredeemable, that they were unworthy of the gifts the gods had bestowed upon them. I knew then that my mission was not only to end the war, but to defeat Ares once and for all. Steve and I assembled a team, brave men who were willing to fight for a cause greater than themselves. Together, we made our way to the front lines where the war raged fiercest. I fought alongside them, using my gifts to protect the innocent, to drive back the forces of tyranny. With every battle, I grew stronger, more confident in my abilities. I deflected bullets with my bracelets, crushed tanks with my bare hands, and leaped across trenches filled with soldiers. To them, I was a force of nature, an unstoppable warrior. But as we fought, I began to understand that the battle for peace was not one that could be won with fists alone. It required something deeper, something more profound. It required belief in the goodness of humanity. I saw it in the eyes of the soldiers I fought beside, in the kindness of strangers who had lost everything but still offered a smile. I knew that the darkness could not win because for all the pain and suffering in the world, there was also love. When I finally faced Ares, the battle was fierce. He revealed himself in his true form, a god of destruction bent on ending humanity once and for all. I had never faced an opponent like him. His power was immense, and he fed on the hatred and violence of the war. But I knew that I could not fail. I was the daughter of Themyscira, and I carried the strength of the Amazons with me. With the final blow, I defeated him, breaking his hold over mankind. But victory came at a cost. Steve sacrificed himself to stop a greater threat, and his loss weighed heavily on my heart. He had shown me the beauty and fragility of humanity, and his courage had inspired me to believe in their potential. In his memory, I vowed to continue fighting for peace, for a world where love could triumph over war. The war ended, but my journey had just begun. I remained in the world of men, living among them, watching over them. Though the battles may change, the fight for justice is eternal. I have seen the worst of humanity, but I have also seen the best. And that is why I continue to stand as their protector, their guardian, and their hope. I am Diana, Princess of Themyscira. I am Wonder Woman. Wherever there is darkness, I will bring the light. Wherever there is hatred, I will fight for love. The world may never be perfect, but as long as I draw breath, I will fight for a future where peace reigns.